was fun in the 50s has come around again full circle. The hula hoop is back for a new generation of young people looking to get fit. Stan Chambers shows us. Hula hoops are back. The movers and shakers here are members of Kid Tribe, founded by Kelly McQuinn, who's the Pied Piper here. The message is that exercise is fun. The obesity crisis is very enormous. There's over 35% of American children that are at risk of being obese. So it's all about exercise is fun and we can have a blast doing it. How about a fun fitness program for children? It can be the ideal way to help combat obesity in children. And Kelly McQuinn has developed an interactive show that gets youngsters moving before they even realize it. It is called Kid Tribe. <laughs> Kid Tribe is an international health and fitness organization and it's all about promoting self-esteem and community and healthy choices for today's youth. Kid Tribe is very freestyle in nature, bringing out the best in everyone. Tell me how this all came about. Well, there is a huge obesity crisis in this nation and so I developed Kid Tribe to prevent and solve it and it's all about creating an environment where being healthy is cool and so it becomes a positively contagious experience. I started Kid Tribe eight years ago. I founded it in 2002 and it was my direct reaction to the tragedy that happened at September 11th. Um, I just, I knew I had to do something and step up and, 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 and just live from my heart and do something to make this world a better place for children. But there's a serious message here about obesity, both here and in America, isn't there? Well, it? obesity is, it's a really growing, growing problem, no pun intended. I mean, the, this generation is the first ever whose life expectancy is lower than their parents. And the U.S. definitely has a massive obesity problem, 35% of American children, actually. And the U.K. is following suit. The humble hula hoop is making a comeback, and school children in Manchester today got a mask. Masterclass, as did our Kate Sims. The hoop is back, but this time it's hip, happening and healthy. The whole program is designed to motivate children to take charge of their health and have daily physical exercise. So if we're going to really empower the youth to take charge of their own health, then it's got to be cool. These are the muscles that I really want to have be sore at the end of the day, because if we're not smiling, then we're doing something wrong. The hard thing, though, is that we're trying to change habits. And I don't know if you've ever tried to change any habits of yours, but it's, it's hard, and it takes willpower, and it takes support, and it takes encouragement, it takes strength, and it takes a sense of believing in yourself and, and a need. So um, I'm, I try to also circumvent that a little bit by making it so much fun and so positive. They say that healthy diets and hula hooping can keep the students in good condition. In fact, it even can make them better students. Come on! 